welcome back everybody. It's Joe from Acklam Car Centre and today I'm in the beautiful Tesla Model X Ludicrous Performance Edition on the 2020 70 registration going live now and this car is something different. Now I haven't had that many electric cars in general. Now this one being the best of the best in the Tesla range in my opinion with the configuration of the seats, the size, the power, the range. Genuinely, when I got on this car last night, ready to do this video, I didn't know what to expect because the first time I've driven a ludicrous, I knew it was going to be fast because of all the sort of hype on media, on social, just everywhere. Everyone's talking about how quick it is and how smooth it is. And you know what I thought it will be? But I'm blown away by it. It's absolutely, it's phenomenal. The car is brilliant and I can see where it's going and if this is what it is today can you imagine in another five ten years what it's going to be like it's it's brilliant so let me start with this car it's going live now it is the ludicrous performance edition dual motor all-wheel drive in the beautiful black 24,000 miles on still has the remainder of the manufacturer's tesla warranty till 2024 and it has the battery warranty till 2028 so that's the peace of mind that you need with a car like this. I mean, the car is beautiful. It's, it, it does everything plus a bit more. Now, starting from the front on the outside, it's got a lovely smooth finish to it. It is quite a big car. And when I say big, I mean, even from the outside, it's got a good shape to it. It's nice and high up, but low enough to get in and out without sort of jumping in or dipping down. So from the front, you have the beautiful LED lighting system. You've got the smoothed off bumpers. Obviously you have all the parking sensors. There's a tons of radars around the vehicle. There's eight cameras, but and it's, everything's color coded. Front fog lights, and then you come to the side of the car. The first thing you'll notice on this car is it has got the upgraded 22 inch Onyx style satin black turbine alloy wheels, which I think look absolutely the bee's knees. It looks brilliant. And probably the best set of wheels you can get on the Tesla range in my opinion. But then you look down the side, you've got the sun protection glass, which is the blacked out windows. Lovely sort of sloping back on it, but if you look at the mid section of the car, it goes quite high, allowing lots of headspace to get in and out, which takes me onto the amazing Falcon style doors. So when the rear doors open, they open in a way which is fascinating. It's new to the market. It's got a double hinge and it's very clever. Again, full of radars and sensors. So. In a normal spot, it'll open up big and wide. If you're in a tight spot where there's cars parked next to you, then the sensors will pick that up and it will open more than enough for you to get in. And if you're in a sort of car park where it's indoors and the roof's low on it or the ceiling's low on it, again, it'll lift enough with a double hinge so you can still get in so you never get stuck. But I think the whole look of it is, is brilliant. Round the back, We've got that sloping back, as I mentioned, LED style rear lighting system. And then even though this car has a six seat configuration, you've still got enough boot space. If you look at that boot space there, you'll see there's enough area there to get a couple of suitcases in there, shopping, even a push, push chair, which means a lot, especially if you're using all six seats. So that for me, just the standing on the outside is amazing. I think it's a good looking car. A lot of six seaters or seven seaters can be a little bit boring. They're just like a people carrier. This is far from boring. It's, it's exciting to say the least. Which then takes me onto the interior. Now this particular one has a six seat configuration. Two, two, and then two. And all six seats are super comfortable. There's lots of space around the car from the driver to the passenger. There's no sort of, not rubbing elbows. The middle row seats for me are probably the best because I have kids. If my kids get in there, they're not gonna punch each other or tickle each other. They've got their own space, it's, it's brilliant. And then the third row seating equally is, is also just as good. Everyone's got their own cup holders. This car, if I show you, has, it's got heated seats for every single passenger. All six seats in this car has heated seats. You've got electric seats in the front You've also got electric seats in the middle row. Now I can adjust and play about with the middle row seats or the passenger can do that themselves, all via this lovely, I mean massive, touchscreen media screen here. The quality, this has got the lovely engineered black leather interior, which is nice and soft. It feels very rich, very comfortable with the one piece headrest. You've got heated steering wheel, again, leather wrapped. The full digital dashboard 
and then this one has the carbon fiber inlay so all the dashboard here down the center console on the door cards with a weave is all carbon fiber now that's just some of the specification remember this car has arcade mode it has theater mode so you can watch netflix you can play games by pressing this button here i'm not saying you should be doing that while you're driving but you know what it's a funky thing if you play that game there you're playing with a steering wheel so you your your joy pad in effect if you want to call it a joy pad your control pad is the steering wheel so when you're going on corners when you can't station you're just outside wait for someone you know a bit of a fun time with that obviously in navigation your db digital radio all that is there adaptive cruise control and then this car has a massive extra called the self-drive capability so the car pretty much drives itself which i'll show you in a few more seconds going back to cubby hole space there's lots of cubby hole space around the vehicle in the door bins on the side the center console this all lifts up with soft closure more carbon fiber and cup holders here and these sliding armrests are absolutely brilliant to get you the most comfortable position there's lever on the dashboard which then takes me onto the windscreen this is a full panoramic windscreen on it so the windscreen comes all the way back here that feels brilliant but you have that solar um, tinted board one there so you don't get burnt by the by the sun because I always thought you know what surely the sun just hit you and that would just burn your forehead or you'll get too hot absolutely not and then the, the next question was where's my sun visor if it does get too sunny well it's magnetically attached to the side of the air pillow and then it goes on there magnetically you can then flip it down and although it looks small it does the job and it does the job perfectly well and when you're not using it it just goes away and that's both passenger and driver let's talk about performance this car has over nearly 600 brake horsepower the 0 to 60 time in the ludicrous plus mode which is the launch control mode i'm not going to do it because i don't feel the need to you can watch other videos online somewhere it's stupidly quick remember first of all it's all-wheel drive so it just grips and it goes and with it being a battery powered vehicle there's no sort of get up and go it just go literally from the minute you put your foot down it's go so for example you go on vehicles there so at the top you can see you've got chill which is everyday driving for me sport makes it a little bit sporty in every single way ludicrous is the one i'd be driving every day and you have the ludicrous plus when you press it on there a little disclaimer comes up saying are you ready to push the limit you press yes bring it on and then it almost tells you what to do to get the launch control on which is foot and brake pedal foot flat down on the acceleration pedal let it get to a point it notifies you when to release the brake pedal and off you go it's like a bullet but i don't need that the ludicrous mode on its own is super quick you're talking not at six times around three seconds which is incredible for a six seater all wheel drive big car to get them sort of figures for me is mind blowing the car is nice and smooth it's high up because there's so much glass in the car the visibility is absolutely brilliant and it goes it just goes there's no stopping now remember you've also got the range this being the biggest one that there that is available you've got nearly a range of 260 miles which is pretty good it's actually very good don't put no fuel in just drive it you're gonna have all that power all that gadget and gizmos and not put fuel in there isn't many cars that can deliver what this car can do without putting about 250 pounds of fuel a week in so the car pays for itself really in every single way whilst doing other stuff i'm now going to activate my self-pilot driving system going on first i put the cruise control on just just behind me the blue steering sticker comes on the two lines come up to say the radar's activated it can now feel everything I've set me cruise control at 70, I'll go down a little bit, to 70 miles an hour. I'll let go completely and it'll just drive. So I'm not accelerating, I'm not braking. The only thing I want to choose to do is how many car. On there it says one, two and three, for example, four. You can choose how many car length you want to keep the distance between you and the car in front. So I'm going to put three car lengths. So this is going to go around a bend now and it'll do it all. It's, this will take me to my destination. All I have to do from time to time, and it'll tell me, like it has right now, apply slight turning force on the steering wheel, just to make it aware that you're still here, really. And that's what it is. Um, 
truthfully, would I use this every single day? I probably would because A, I'm lazy and B, I like the idea of it, of self-driving. Sometimes it, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. But I think, like, when you see it go on corners here, it's, it's brilliant. It is the future. It will make me lazy, but it is the future. But I just think it's brilliant how it's just, it does its thing. And it'll go around every corner. It, this will take me literally to my destination. No problem. And like I say, every so often, just give a little tap or a little turn, just to make it aware that you are still here and you haven't fell asleep, really. Now, obviously, the car does a lot more. It's, it's got everything. Everything is on here. So that was the autopilot there that we were talking about. The full self-driving traffic light and stop sign signal. It does, it tells you everything. What's quite fascinating, because the radars are always constantly going on, and when a car is towards you or next to you, traffic light, it picks up everything. To the point, when I approach a traffic light, it's unread. On this dashboard, I can see the traffic light and it shows it's unread or amber or green or whatever it is, which is quite weird and wonderful as well. And then you apply the brakes when you don't touch it for a while to wake you up, which is pretty good. Scary at times, we're not expecting it. For me, the way this car drives, the space, the gadget and gizmos, this is the best one you can get, being the ludicrous and performance edition, I think is absolutely fabulous. This is a superb car. It's fantastic, as a matter of fact, in every single way. Like, just the whole, the whole thing. And it's, it's new, when I say new, it's, it's a new thing. The power for certain is the most exciting thing about this. The fact that it's quiet and it's effortless, it's very easy to drive. The car's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Now this car's going live, guys, on our website. So if you want to know anything more about it, if you want to know what finance packages are available, yes, we do take part exchanges. We're very happy to discuss with you in more detail about what the car has and what we can do for you. If you look on the website, you'll see we have the best stock in the UK, and we're very, very happy to uh, answer any questions that you may have. Like, follow and share. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.